Welcome back. New at 5.30, a 17 News in-depth report. Last week, we took you inside the hangar to see some of the high-profile commercial spacecraft being developed at Mojave Air and Spaceport. While we were there, we heard about this company, also in aerospace, that came to Mojave long before today's Rocketeers showed up. Incotech is one of a dozen or so companies in Mojave's industrial park that fly under the, radi the radar of the media. But what they do helps keep the airplanes we all fly in on the radar and in the air. Bob Riley came to Mojave Airport in 1992. The rent was um, about all I could afford. With $20,000 in his pocket. Met with uh, Dan Sabovich. Looking for a place to parlay his 20 years of experience in the metal coatings industry into a business of his own. I felt that the industry needed Two competitors, not one. Briley founded Innovative Coatings Technology. Incotech develops and applies special coatings for metal fasteners, essentially the nuts and bolts used worldwide in the aerospace industry. Three trucks um, a day that operate, they pick up the parts, uh, pans of fasteners, they bring them up to our facility. Uh, we process them here. Different metals used together to manufacture aircraft need protection from each other to prevent corrosion. When you put dissimilar metals together, they will corrode. The corrosion is, a, is a terrible on an airplane. It can lead to catastrophic failures. And coated fasteners provide that protection. Bob Riley's timing couldn't have been better. With the advent of carbon fiber composite materials in the late 80s, Incotech was in a prime position to develop new coatings for fasteners joining metal parts to composite airframes at an airport where famed aviation pioneer Burt Rattan was already advancing composite aerospace design. Today, composite airframes are at the core of spacecraft taking shape here. It's very exciting. Um, I've been here 22 years. It's an honor to be a part of it and uh, we're growing along with it. It's a phenolic resin base matrix system. From heavy bolts to tiny rivets, a myriad of metal fasteners are coated, baked, and boxed every day by the thousands. Incotech hit the one billion mark in October of 2012. Business is brisk. This is a 24-7 operation. The Briley's today employed nearly 300 workers, adding more than 200 jobs in just the last four years. Incotech is also working on projects to develop new fastener coatings for Boeing. And a new business and research facility will soon open in Lancaster. We've been growing at a, at a pretty dramatic rate, 25% uh, per year since 2011. We're in a niche market. Um, but the market share in our niche market is about 60%. The burning desire. Bob Riley says looking back, Mojave Airport was a good move despite its distance from the Southland markets. I think Stu Witt, the CEO of, of the airport, has done a fantastic job of providing an environment where the entrepreneurs, the, you know, the real um, visionaries are going to come out here and find a very, very um, workable environment to do whatever they want to do. Incotech is part of Mojave's industrial base that generates the lion's share of high-paying jobs here on the high desert. Of the 70 companies located within the confines of the Mojave Air and Spaceport, nearly half are aerospace related. Some 1,500 people come to work here every day. Airport General Manager Stu Witt, who will be retiring from his post later this year, says the financial spreadsheet at Mojave looks pretty good. This last year we took a look at our revenue stream and I believe Karina told me that we had tripped over a line where 50% of our total revenue on the air side is coming from the space industry, not just the aerospace industry. But we also have our rail line, our, our rail yard, our industrial park. An industrial park where so-called secondary aerospace industries like Incotech are thriving. There are a lot of benefits to being out here. Some of the regulations are a little bit easier. It's a little bit quicker to get permits than LA County. It could take years to get permits. Well, when you're an entrepreneur and you're, you're innovating you know, program, programs and projects, you don't have years. Well, businesses come and go, and that is true for Mojave Airport as well. And one of the airport's most valued tenants is taking his space plane and his crew, and he's leaving for, you guessed it, Texas. I'll have more on X-Corps' exit next Tuesday in our final installment of Mojave Moving Forward.